I mean, you know, it, trying to subliminate this whole um, Trump thing, but now finally I found a way to express my feelings about <laughs> Trump. <laughs> and um, um, I've been like videoing Lower East Side jazz musicians for about 20 plus years and trying to find a musician who will be appropriate to back me up on this. So this is my second time reading this without the musician and it, at the end you'll figure it out why I need a musician. Okay, a Trump story. The Revolution Blues. The rich in New York City are having a revolution on the poor people. They want to starve us from this blighted neighborhood so that, so that better housing can be built. Even the fascist government participates when aligned with Russia's politics. They protect the rich by providing tax-free programs for developers as well as owners of condos, luxury co-ops, and homes worth millions in the housing market. Recently, I was told that the Ray Supermarket Pathmark in the middle of Rutgers housing projects in the Lower East Side will be Trump's new luxury tower for millionaires. I grew up in those housing projects like many poor Asians in America. The poor depended on the supermarket's low prices and its close vicinity. Now the poor have to walk over to Grand Street or to Delancey's Essex Street Market. This mythology slowly causes starvation, famines, and deaths in the community. Once the revolution has been, once the path marking construction for the luxury condo began, the revolution has begun when Trump announced his candidacy for presidency. By then, when the tower is completed, the masses have moved out of the community due to noise pollution, land sinkage, cracks on their walls, backed up sewage water, no parking, and other urban problems. With the rich moving in, crimes will increase caused by the poor minorities, enraged evictions and homelessness. The rich revolution against the poor has control of media and projects and project and projects 87 photos of George Clooney's wife human rights lawyer Amal on the um, um, Harper's Bazaar. There are 87 photos of her anorexic clothes hanging. And I could only look at 40 of those clothes before I decided that, I mean, you know, she's a human rights and labor. Um, she's a human rights for the Maldives Muslim nations. Um, which is the uh, report on human rights practices in the country that most significant problems are corruption, lack of religious freedom, and abuse, and unequal treatment of women, being Muslim, whatever. But after viewing 40 photos of a male's extensive unequal treatment, oh, uh, clothes with accessories, no wonder she fends for the poor in a third world nation. The contradictions are prevalent like a Hollywood movie produced by stockbrokers. <laughs> the masses have peacefully protested, got locked up, harangued and beaten up by Gestapo bullies. Memories of the Holocaust still prevails. Later, the rebellion of the rich revolution will be underground like the underground weatherman and eventually rock concerts will prevail again since someone said at a punk revival that rock and roll killed jazz. Sing it! <laughs> at Rockefeller's Asian Society exhibition on the Philippine gold craftsmanship and advertising the nation is the second largest gold deposits in Mindanao, South 
which is a Muslim nation, Muslim island too, highest population Muslim is. Um, this is the second largest gold deposit. I suppose one of Trump's goal would be to hoard the gold for himself and to build further millionaire luxury condos. Ah! <laughs> Uh, do I still have one? Okay. Very quick. All uh, right. This was written in 19, 2006, and I was about, it's called demagogue as opposed to oligarchy. So demagogue, you know, means a political leader who seeks support by appealing to popular desires and prejudices rather than by using rational argument. The decadence is of the first world as reflected in the decadences of the third world. Social class structures, barriers of shunned communications, where humanity is a serious agenda. Cry, criteria for the concerned citizens. The upper class are living with such privileges where I become the enemy forced to enjoy the other. Democracy becomes a side order of salad with Russian, French, Italian, Hispanic, and American dressings. <laughs> the main course is what they want in society unless the masses agrees to recognize the universal experiences of suffering to riot. And um, so, you know, now we're faced with an oligarchy, which is about a small group of people having control of country, organization, and institution, the ruling all oligarchy of military men around the president. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.